Well, we've got everything cut in with a four inch throwaway paintbrush. Now it's time to use the, the roller. Remember, I use a mini roller with the sponge applicator. That's a four inch. It's just on a broom handle extension. Okay, that's all I use. And I don't ever, you know, I don't care how small the shower is, I never unscrew this and, put, and do it by hand in certain areas. I just figure out different ways on how to hold this. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of the sealer. I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm just going to run up. And I'm concentrating on the joints first. That's why I like the 4 inch. Okay, so as I dip, then I can see I, I, I'm holding this backhanded now and getting it on there. Then this way, I'm going over this way, over over on the left side, I'm backhanding it. And I'm saturating the tile, I'm not even wiping off anything yet, because this is so small. I can do a few tiles. Okay, dip in there. Backhand it. I know I don't have to go all the way up to the to the edge because I got four inches there of cut in, right? Okay, now I can just take the paint roller and go right over that, top to bottom, if I want, or I can just do one individual tile at a time. I'm just going over the surface and blending it in, okay, like that, lightly, and that's it for that area. Okay, yeah, we're going to do a, another little section here. Okay. And I try to do about the same amount everywhere. Now, you see how I'm holding the, the roller, and I don't have to do any Mickey Mouse stuff because I remember I, I cut that in at an angle. So I can just hold the roller here and go down at an angle, knowing that, okay, I got it all. Same thing. With right here, I don't have to go up any higher than that because it's all cut in, remember? I'm depressing it in to the grooves. I can flip it around and go that way. Right there. And that little section, I can now lightly go over it. Like that. And that little section is done. Now, here, all I have to do is that far because all the rest of it's cut in, right? And I can do that at an angle, press in hard, harder for the joint. You don't want to take all your sealer off. You don't want to press all of it in. Just dab a little bit more, and I'm going to put a little bit more over here now. Okay, I don't have to necessarily backhand it right there because I'm four inches over and I've got the roller higher now, okay? Now, just go over it like that. I don't have to get too wiggy about getting too close. Okay. Light like that. And let's do some more. Okay. Yeah. Pretty simple. But if you're not watching it, if you put too much, you're going to get it splattering all over the place. You know? Get a little bit more in there. Okay, I'm not going to wipe that off this time. I'm going to go up. Get that seam. And remember, I came down about four or five inches all the way around the edges, so I don't have to go up too high. If you think you have to go up too high, then you get this up on the, the ceiling. Or the other thing is, too, when you're doing it, you know, getting it up there, you might get an edge here. Now you got enough room to put your roller at the top and go back down, let's say, before you hit the ceiling. Okay, so now I can flip this over that way, sideways to get around that. And then over here, I can flip it this way and go that way. Concentrate. I'm just putting the edge of my sponge roller in there. And I'm pressing in hard right there. Get it up in there. Blend it in, start down here. I can go. What I what I like to do is just do I'll, I'll do, I'll do this tile first. Okay. I don't go up real big strokes because then I might have a tendency to hit the ceiling. Now, from here, I can just do the same. 
stroke all the way across there. You know what I mean? I can hold my hand at the same place. I can, I can basically close my eyes right here and do the same angle action and know that I'm not going to hit the ceiling. Okay? That's it.